Welcome back everyone. Happy New Year. Today I'm going to show you something very unique and very interesting that I don't think anybody else will teach you this. I might be wrong, but I'm still pretty sure no one else will teach you this. So this is called Tian Zi Ge in Chinese Mandarin and Tian Zi Ga in Cantonese. It is basically a template that uh, we use to help us learn how to write Chinese characters properly. Uh, back in when I was in elementary school in China, like first, second grade, whenever there are new Chinese characters for us to learn how to write, our teachers will give us some papers like this. And we use this to practice how to write the, char the Chinese characters. Let me bring this closer so you can see. So it is basically uh, Chinese characters inside a square with grids that divided the square into four, into four smaller square, like one, two, three, four. We use this to practice um, pretty much how to write every single stroke of the characters. We just copy this into here, 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 here. So why I am showing this to you? The reason is, you see all these grids? And do you see all these grids on the drawing here? I mean, grids, grids, you get the idea, right? Now, let me say that um, a lot of people who are not good at drawing and they have a really difficult time to improve their drawing skills, one of the main reasons is they simply cannot tell what is wrong with their drawings they simply cannot like oh yeah my drawing looks good my drawing looks good when things are completely out of places so getting the proportion and placement right is very very important and i think this helps build the foundation now let me make it is clear that this is not the main reason why I can draw so good. There's a lot more to it. There's a lot more than just know how to write Chinese character with grids. There's a lot more than that to make a good drawing. But um, I think this helps. Okay, I've been doing this ever since, uh, like I said, uh, in elementary school, first, second grade. So when I was very, very little, that is definitely something, but it's not everything. By the way, this is how you spell Tian Zi Ge. Now, you can go to Google and type this in and hit search and go to image and you can down, uh, download some template and you can start practicing. Just give it a try. You never know. It might help. Now, for those of you who are not Chinese, like for those of you who only understand like three sentences and two words or simply don't understand any Chinese at all just pretend just pretend you are drawing a small picture okay just pretend you are drawing a small picture pretend you are not writing Chinese character pretend you are drawing a small picture and this is the small picture. 
Um, the reason why uh, it's, I'm showing this to you guys and I want you to try this The whole point of doing this, okay, is not For you guys, it's not learn how to write Chinese character I mean, you, if, you could if you want, but The whole point for you guys is to train your eyes and your brains that when whenever you have a blank piece of paper in front of you you know where things should go on paper okay it doesn't matter if you're planning to use grids or not in the future it doesn't matter if you're trying to draw realistically or not it doesn't matter you still need to know where things should go on the paper you need to be able to tell if there's something wrong with your drawing whenever there's a blank piece piece of paper in front of you you need to be able to tell where things sh should go like this should be here that should be there this should be um, higher that should be lower this should be more to the left, that should be more to the right. This should be longer, that should be shorter. This should be more straight, that should be more curved, etc. etc. So yeah. Go to Google, type this in, download some template and start practicing. Start building up the foundation. And that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you very much for watching. Good luck. And I'll see you next time. Peace.